There are some of the questions on the iPad. Uh, let's make sure this is right. Ah, uh, see my AI Prime? Hear it? It's been doing that lately. Instantly went away. Blast that thing with some dust blaster. Here, here. That's too blue. All right, guys, welcome to the Tom Reefer Studio. Here we are again. 20 gallon cube mixed. 3.5 gallon Pico. Six gallon tall. 10 gallon Peninsula Reef. And today, we get all our questions from here. And it all happens right here. OCD Reefer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the last Wednesday was six days. Another great video, Tom. Thanks, Dan. Let's see, Chris K. Hey, Tom, I'm gonna start my water box 20 soon. Going bare bottom, what do you prefer? All right, that's a good one. caught myself by surprise, guys. All right, I'm in my Tom Reefer green. All right, so here we go. My neck is like a freaking chicken. Here we go now, here we go. All right, Chris K, I'm thinking about going bare bottom. What do I prefer? Well, Chris, this is the way I look at it. As you see in my 10 gallon, I have a little bit of both. So I like the way the sand looks aesthetically in the tank, but I don't need it for any biological reason. Unless you're going with these deep sand beds that they used to do many years ago. Some guys do them. Oh, by the way, guys, when I say guys, I'm referring to guys and girls. That's just my thing. All right, so when I say, hey guys, I'm saying hello to guys and girls. So anyway, I've said this before, years ago would do deep sand beds to try to help denitrify. So as I see it now, a bare bottom is kind of a cool way to go, but I still like some sand in there. It looks nice with that white. Now I will say after probably a year or so, it takes a while for that bottom glass to be completely covered with coralline. Some of it's pink, some of it's white. So you begin to lose the reflection in the glass. So it's totally up to you. That's why I do half and half. All right, Chris, thanks for the question. New viewers, Water Change Wednesday is a Q&A. You ask me a question below the video in the comments section. I'll answer it there and I'll answer it here. I want to point out right now that what I answer is the Tom Reefer method. I am not saying it's the only way. So I've been doing it for 25 years, more than that, and I've kept my reefing the same way. So I'm going to answer you the way I've had the best success. Yeah, I'm getting more questions, guys. I don't know, uh, you know, I hope you're not wanting every one of your questions to be on Water Change Wednesday. I'm just picking the ones out that are easy. Yellow Thang 123 asks me, will clownfish breed in community tanks? He's got a couple other questions, but let's just leave it to that one. A uh, yes and no, Yellow Thang. One, two, three. I thought it was going to be yellow tang, but it's not. It's yellow fang. You need a large aquarium for clowns to breed when there's other inhabitants, other fish in the tank. That's just from what I've experienced and read and hear about and all that kind of stuff. I've never had 
clown pair breed in 20. I haven't even seen them lay eggs, I'm being honest. Under 20, I haven't done that, but they've always been with other fish. I've never had a real large tank. I had the 250, but I never had a clown pair in there. So maybe some of you guys with the large tanks can answer this question for yellow thang because I know it's done. Some clowns will breed on anything. The easiest method is to put those clay pots in there and I just didn't want to do that ever in my tank, you know, but some will just automatically lay eggs on a smooth rock. Usually it's a smooth surface. Someone answer that question. Someone that has experienced it. Not that you've read like me. I haven't experienced it in over 20, but I never had clown pairs in a large tank. So, you know, be not sure I'm recording the sound over here. All right, I am, I am. So get a little behind the scenes. It's just today. All right, so. Harry Urban, I really enjoy Water Change Wednesday. Harry, I hope you're watching. You know, I'm going against my rule with shout outs now, aren't I? No, just today. Uh, enjoy the 10 gallon. I know you've answered this before. Can't find the link. Oh, 303 Colo. I can't answer another skimmer, reef class skimmer question. Good to see you, 303 Colo guy. Face value reef, you're the best, Tom. My head, my head is so big right now, it's not going to fit in my fish. Richard says, thanks for the insight on the personal life. Yeah, you guys got to know a little bit about what I do. You know, I mean, that's, this, get, this gets up close. Liam asks, he sees I've turned off my mid-filtration section on the water box and made it into a fuge. Correct, Liam. Uh, I'm thinking of doing this myself, but was wondering how to manage not having any mechanical filtration. Does your refugium and pod invert population take care of everything, detritus and waste-wise? Also, do you feed heavily? Since you have a refugium plus weekly water changes, don't your nutrients run too low? That's a lot of questions, but let's handle it all at once. Yes, I have a refugium in there. Number two, I've mentioned this before, I let my chato grow. I don't harvest it weekly. I'm gonna harvest it soon, and I bet you it's been two months since I've harvested it, but it is growing. It was like the size of a tennis ball when I pulled the last amount out, but what I noticed when I did that Everything changed in the tank. Everything kind of looked pale. It just didn't look right. So now I'm just going to pull a small amount out and let it go. Number three, the Chato actually acts as a mechanical filter too because it's so gnarly that as the detritus passes through from the first compartment, I know it collects in there. I see it. So every once in a while, I'll pull the wad out and I'll rinse it in fresh salt water to get that out. But only if I notice... <music> nitrate and phosphate and my tank not looking good, guys. I haven't done that probably in three or four months. I let everything go and I don't mess with my tank when it looks good. I feed heavily. Yes, I do. I've shown that in my video. I dump a lot of that SA pellet food down for my mandarin. I feed the uh, San Francisco Bay brand Marine Cuisine. I feed that, a lot of that. So yes, I do feed a lot. And daily, sometimes I skip a day. I used to have a filter sock but I found it took too much out of the water. And that answers your question about low nutrients. I have a skimmer in there. Look how clear my water is. So you don't need mechanical filtration if you have a way of removing detritus, even if you need to. A lot of detritus will settle in the middle compartment and you can siphon it out if you want, but like I said, only if your nitrate and phosphate are reacting. A lot of that 
detritus guys is decomposed it's like I don't know how to explain it but it's not causing your nitrate and phosphate to go up it's just like stuff in this all right Johnny asks he's got a 20 gallon water box cube 2.5 gallon refugium that's plumbed into the return a Y that gravity feeds back into the display that's kind of cool that's what I kind of wanted to do with the 3.5 but I bombed currently have six rock flower and enemy two bubble tips pulsing is should I be dosing calc in my ATO guys look I'm I will always dose Calcwasser in my ATO. It's like, you know, it's almost like for me, should I put salt in the water? That's just the way I am about it. Some people don't, you know, it's, I've learned that in 1992 when I started reef keeping and I read Julian Sprung's book and the guy used to carry a 10 gallon nano tank around with him to give seminars and he had tridactid clams growing in it just look his name up and you'll see so i learned from him he was always a very firm believer in doing that it does so many things positive for your tank it can't harm it so i always do it so i guess that's a yes guys i hope you don't mind look at my tank back there you see what happens how bright it is i can't think of everything now watch what I have to do now. See, things like this bother me. My AI Prime, 20 gallon, lighting, select preset. Watch what happens. Video, video main. Now watch what happens. Look at it. See? Uh, and that's even gonna look brighter. I'm not doing them all over. That's it. So now I have it on. And even the all this stuff come on see I usually tone this down too so it's not too bright oh man all right well whatever you don't care about the tanks in the background this is a nice thing I have to say this Los Endos says enjoy your channel Tom a genuine guy without any agendas Greetings from England, my friend. That's a nice thing to say, and I'm glad, Endos, you see that. This is me. I'm not, I mean, I'm performing a little bit, but this is me. You know, I like to have fun. That's all it is. It's not phony. It's not memorized. This is just me. I'm, I'm having fun behind this camera. And thanks a lot. Right. Jivey 47 you don't get a question for a long time now. You've had one, you've had so many questions on Water Change Wednesday. That's it, you're cut off. Steve asked, Steven asked me about doing longer, did he? Wait a minute now. Yeah, Steve asked about doing longer videos. To do an 18 to 20 minute video, Steve, it would take me almost two days. I work during the day. I'm doing a bathroom remodel now. So this in itself, say a 10 minute video, takes me about 10 hours with the recording and the editing. So I just don't have time. Thanks, by the way. Right, I gotta give him one question. He has three questions along with his asking about the long video. I'll answer the one on the Royal Grama. Is it as peaceful and hearty as everyone says? Uh, I didn't know whether they were hardy or not. And he's all, the only one in the tank. He is hardy. I feed and he goes nuts in there. But as far as other inhabitants, he's the only one. Now there's a peppermint shrimp in there and he has not bothered that. So I have to say that he's hardy he's eating he's great color and he's doing great in 3.5 gallons of water and he's not trying to jump out or anything like that uh, that has to be enough guys lee said interesting to see all the tanks keep the jumping to a minimum you're right lee i almost hurt myself doing that but i couldn't resist i thought it'd be a cool effect new viewers i just jumped off the cabinet the other day yeah. Get the babysitter paid and don't go home now. 
I've been on, but don't forget phone call. Down to start the video. And Lee's saying to be careful. Thanks. It's not easy what I do, guys. All right, guys, that's got to be it. I mean, I just banged off at least how many? 10 questions. Now, this is where the 18 to 20 comes in, Steve. It's going to take me forever to edit all this, you know? Don't forget, I got to do B-roll on top of it. That means it's just not me. I got to make things work. So anyway, have a great rest of the night. I feel like Rod the Danger Field when I do this. You know, the reason why I do that is to get rid of my neck skin off the, <laughs> off the camera. Anyway, so uh, have a great rest of the night, guys. And, um, you know, I'll have to come up with something for Sunday. I have no clue yet what I'm going to do for Sunday. I should have something by Sunday. All right, have a great night, guys. Take care. Hope you enjoyed it.